This is the CBS News Special Report. Dan Rather reporting from CBS News Worldwide Headquarters in New York. Good day. Los Angeles police are about to hold a news conference about the O.J. Simpson case. The district attorney's office of filed murder charges against him today. The former pro football star is accused of murdering his former wife and her male friend. Speaking now is David Gascon, the L.A. police commander. From the Los Angeles Police Department, as most of you know, Chief Williams is under subpoena and has been back in Philadelphia and has been testifying in a federal case. Throughout the course of the week, he has been in constant contact with the department, talking about many significant issues, including this murder investigation. We've uh, spoken several times today regarding this matter. This morning, detectives from the Los Angeles Police Department, after an exhaustive investigation, which included interviews of dozens of witnesses, a thorough examination and analysis of the physical evidence, both here and in Chicago, sought and obtained a warrant for the arrest of O.J. Simpson, charging him with the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Lyle Goldman. Mr. Sim Simpson, in agreement with his attorney, was scheduled to surrender this morning to the Los Angeles Police Department. Initially, that was 11 o'clock. It then became 11.45. Mr. Simpson has not appeared. The Los Angeles Police Department right now is actively searching for Mr. Simpson. The Los Angeles Police Department is also very unhappy with the activities surrounding his failure to surrender. And we will be looking further into those activities, including anyone that may have intervened on his behalf. Now, Chief Williams has personally expressed his appreciation to the sworn and civilian members of the Los Angeles Police Department who have been involved in this investigation. Now, particularly the detectives assigned to Robbery Homicide Division, Homicide Special Section. I should also point out the actions, the tremendous effort of the civilian personnel assigned to Scientific Investigation Division, and we should not forget the personnel assigned to West Los Angeles area. It was through the tireless efforts of all these dedicated employees that the department was able to arrive at this juncture in the investigation in so timely a manner. We will continue our pursuit of Mr. Simpson and hope to have him in custody soon. This matter will now enter the prosecutorial stage where it will be overseen by a team of extremely talented prosecutors. Chief Williams has assured Deputy, uh, District Attorney Gil Garcetti that the department is fully committed to providing the highest level of investigative support to the prosecutors assigned to this case. As to the evidence, we will not be making specific comments relative to the evidence. Those comments are better left with the prosecutors. You have been in a position to see the efforts of the sworn and civilian members of the organization gathering some of that evidence. We will not be making comments on that evidence. As to the rumors that have floated around all week, including some today, we don't acknowledge or address any of those rumors. As to leaks from so-called police sources, our official comments have been limited to those statements given at the crime scene by Lieutenant John Rogers, the officer in charge of Robbery Homicide Division's Homicide Special Section, comments by Chief Williams, and comments that I've made. Any criticism of the Los Angeles Police Department because of what has been published or broadcast by the media is unfair. We do not control the newsrooms. You and your bosses make these very difficult decisions, and we appreciate and respect your judgments. We express our condolences to the families of the victims. 
as we do with victims of violent crimes on a daily basis. This is certainly a tragedy, there's no question. These two young people didn't deserve to die, and they didn't deserve to die in that manner. The Los Angeles Police Department hastens to add there is a presumption of innocence, and that's very important. No one's been convicted of any crime at this point. With me is Commander John White and Captain Bill Gartland, who have played a key role in this investigation, and the Chief of Police also acknowledges their efforts. I can take a few questions. Yes. 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 Commander Gascon, didn't you have a tail on the suspect all the time? Were you watching him constantly? We're uh, not going to make any comments relative to the investigative efforts itself or anything else surrounding what has occurred since the beginning of the case. Well, how through, did you lose him? You asked the question. Would you well, like for me to answer? We have spoken to Mr. Shapiro. We Can have expressed our dismay. And uh, we have indicated to him that uh, that we expect to see Mr. Simpson immediately, if not sooner. And how did he respond, Commander Gaskin? What is Mr. Shapiro? Commander Gaskin, what does Mr. Shapiro say? What was his reply? You have to hold it down one at a time, or I won't be able to hear you. We'll raise our hands. Have you seen him today at all, Commander? Well, it's my understanding uh, that he has. Can you account for why Mr. Shapiro account for why Mr. Simpson does not turn himself in? Well, apparently he cannot. Uh, he assured us and agreed to provide for this surrender, and that's not occurred. And it was delayed on several occasions, and it still has not occurred. And to the best of my knowledge, Mr. Simpson is out there somewhere, and we will find it. When was the last, Commander, when was the Mr. Shapiro is O.J. Simpson's lawyer when he referred to Shapiro. When was the last time you had contact with Mr. Shapiro, and when was the last time he had contact with Mr. Simpson? We uh, spoke with Mr. Shapiro uh, recently, several minutes ago. Uh, I can't tell you when the last time he spoke to Mr. Simpson was. What about a second suspect? Special consideration because of his uh, celebrity status? Absolutely not. Homicide investigations are complicated investigations. They require a tremendous amount of skill and patience by detectives. We have some of our absolutely best detectives on this case. They've been very methodical. They've done a tremendous job. Uh, they, they deserve to be complimented for their efforts. Uh, as I indicated, they're very complicated. There's no rush to judgment on these types of investigations. You have to keep an open mind. Uh, they are, as I indicated, uh, among the very best we have. Commander. And there is no preferential treatment. There has not been any preferential treatment. And uh, I think you will see with the commitment of department resources in pursuit of Mr. Simpson that he is a wanted murder suspect and we will go find him. What about the second suspect? When was the last time that you saw OJ and where was he at that time? I, I can't I can't give you any indication of that. I don't know. Yes, Warren. Can you tell us when OJ was informed that Mr. Simpson was going to be arrested? Well, we have an expectation that uh, if he's in consultation with his attorney and his attorney has made this arrangement with us, that he certainly knows. And I, I doubt that uh, that there's anyone around this country that's been monitoring television, radio, or newspapers that doesn't know at this point that uh, something's going on in this case. What about the second suspect? Yes. Last night, there was some attempt at telling as though O.J. Simpson went into his Brentwood mansion. However, many people do not believe that was actually O.J. Simpson at that time. Do you believe that he was in this mansion last night and left this morning, or, or some other time that he disappeared? Uh, I have no interest in, in getting into what occurred out there. I saw the tapes, and, and uh, I don't wish to address that. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, it was Mr. Newton. Can you address the reports we heard earlier today about a second suspect? Is OJ Simpson the only suspect here? Again, we're not going to dignify any of the rumors. Uh, uh, we believe we know who's responsible for the crime. We, we certainly have, uh, to, uh, to the degree of satisfaction necessary to us uh, to obtain a warrant, uh, we believe him to be the suspect, and that's why we're looking for him now. Yes, sir, you were yes, right. Sir.
if and when he is apprehended, will this figure into uh, bail, whether he makes bail? I'm not going to be discussing any of the aspects related to the prosecution or anything that falls within the purview with, with of the district attorney's office. As I indicated, they have some exceptionally talented deputy district attorneys over there that will be handling this matter. You're the first degree. Yes. Do you think he's still in the Los Angeles area? Well, it's our assumption at this point that he is. And uh, we'll see what transpires. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Simpson is a wanted murder suspect, two counts of murder, a terrible crime. We need to find him, we need to apprehend him, we need to bring him to justice, and we need to make sure that we find him as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. At any time during the initial uh, questioning or subsequently, was he required to surrender his passport to uh, I, I don't have any particular comments to make about anything that occurred during the time that we spoke with Mr. Simpson or he was speaking with us. Are you dealing with other agencies? Over here. Can you tell us what kind of a search you have going on right now? Well, obviously, with the, the information that I'm disclosing to you, we'll make sure that the, the entire Los Angeles Police Department and law enforcement in the region is alerted to the situation. And clearly, that means that... That means that all the officers in patrol cars, that means detectives, that means people that work specialized divisions, that means people that are up in helicopters, they'll all be aware of this. Uh, that means California Highway Patrol officers will know about it, the Sheriff's Department will know about it, local law enforcement will know about it. We will make sure everyone knows about it, or you will make sure Just that. local, Commander? Just local? Well, we'll start here right now. Commander, yes, sir. When, when, yeah, when he surrenders or when he's uh, uh, apprehended, what the procedure will be from there, will he be at Harvard Center, that sort of thing? Well, when Mr. Simpson is apprehended, uh, he'll be uh, handcuffed and placed in a car, a police car of some kind. He will be transported and booked here at Parker Center and processed. I can take, uh, I'll take one more question. Yes, sir. At what time did you tell Mr. that the arrest warrant got I'm sorry? Um, I, I'm not going to get into the details of our conversations with Mr. Shapiro. Um, I think I've expressed to you our displeasure with what has transpired, and I think I've conveyed to you strongly enough that we are very interested in evaluating what has transpired in his failure to surrender. Thank you very much, and we appreciate your patience. David Gascon, Commander, Los Angeles Police Force. A surprising, stunning development in the still unsolved murder of O.J. Simpson's former wife and her male companion. The police say that they have charged O.J. Simpson in those murders, but they don't have him. They can't find him. The police spokesman said, and I quote, O.J. Simpson is now a wanted murder suspect. He is, in the street language, on the lam, or so police believe. Uh, a lot of confusion uh, and many questions as to why O.J. Simpson was not already in custody, why he wasn't under constant police surveillance. Those questions in the main are unanswered as of this moment. Here's what we know and don't know. O.J. Simpson has been charged with the murders uh, of his former wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her male companion, Ronald Goldman. His lawyer said that he would show up to be arraigned this afternoon but the police say at the moment they do not know where O.J. Simpson is. They can't find him. They are looking for him. We'll have complete details of this, of course, on tonight's CBS Evening News. Even before then, your local news will have details. Uh, we'll be right on top of this story, and we'll see you again shortly. Dan Rather, CBS News New York. This has been a CBS News special report.